Hello everyone at Blackstone Academy. I am here today to show you how to make a portfolio in Zello. So it's pretty easy. Um, this is the student view. So all of you students, when you sign in, this is probably roughly what you see. And then you'll notice on this side, you have all these things. But if you scroll down below those, you'll see something that says portfolios. Go ahead and click view portfolios. Now I have a bunch of sample ones already made for you, which we will talk about later, but you probably don't have any yet. So you're gonna go up here to add portfolio. Now uh, we're gonna give it a title. Let's pretend this is my level three, which you juniors will be doing. And then it wants me to give a little description. So I'm just going to put something there for now. I'm going to say juniors rock. And then when you're done, you just go down here and you click create portfolio. Okay. So it always starts out with this generic of ridiculously ugly cover image. So you're going to go up here to add cover image and you can pick a better picture. So um, if you go to choose a local file, it's gonna want to get pictures off of your actual computer, which you may or may not have. Don't ask me what direct link is, no idea. You have Facebook option, if that's a thing you still have. You can also go on your Instagram and get pictures. And then you can also do Google Photos. I personally am gonna choose Google Photos just to show you how it works. And now you'll get to see a lot of my pictures of my horses, not my horses. They're my family's horses. Um, let's just say I really love this picture of my dog, which I do. So I'm going to pick that one. It's going to upload me a little preview. Okay. It's a little off. So here are some things I can do to it. I can crop it, rotate it, mirror it, flip it, blur it, sharpen it, grayscale it. I want to crop it a little bit because I want to see more of her face. Yeah, that looks better to me. Okay, so I'm going to hit apply. And now, shall I add the image? Yes, I'm going to click add. And here it is. Now I have my lovely cover photo, which is not that generic one. All right, so, so far it has nothing in it. So I have to go down here and click add section. All right, so whenever I want to add a new section, it's going to ask me for a title. Let's pretend this is the about me section. So for my about me section, I have some options. I can add Zello activities. I can add external media, which would be, you know, pictures, videos, any links you want to add, any documents you want to add. Or I can add a text entry, which would just be basically a text box um, where I can add a little info. So um, for the purposes of this video, because I want to show you how to use all these, we're going to start with Zello activities. I'm going to hit next. All right. So if you've done all of these things, which you can see I have not, you may choose from all of these or any of these. I'm going to say I want my personality style. So I'm going to click personality style and then I'm going to go add to portfolio. Now, all that good stuff that I already did in Zello, the quizzes that I took, the activities that I did, they make these cool little printouts, these little summaries, if you will of what I am like as a person, what my personality style is. So, and there it is. Now it's just on my portfolio in the about me section. So I could choose any of those. I could go back to add more media to the section. Uh, let's say I want some external media this time. I'm gonna go external media, click next. All right, so here we are again. I can add something from my actual computer. I can get something from Facebook, Instagram, my Google Drive, which is probably mostly what you'll be doing. If I have a Dropbox, I could use that. If I have a OneDrive, I could also be using that. I'm going to choose Google Drive. 
So it'll probably ask you to connect to your Google account. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to hit allow. Cool. So now it's showing me all the things that are in my Google Drive. So I'm going to pretend that I want to put this document right here called intro to me on my portfolio. So I'm going to click the document and then I'm going to go to next. And then I'm going to have the option to give it a title. I'm going to call it intro to me. And then I can also give a description if I want to. I'm going to say this is a list of cool things about me. We'll just pretend that's what it is. And then I'm going to go to add to portfolio. And so if I scroll down a little bit, I can see there's the title. Here's where the document will appear. Sometimes it gives you a preview of the document. Sometimes it does not. Um, and then you have it right there. It's ready to go. I could also choose to add a picture. That would be external media. So go external media next. I'm going to choose a picture from the ones I have in my Google Drive. We're going to go back to some old pictures for a minute. Actually, I may not do that. Let's go to my OneDrive. It's going to make me log in. You don't have to see this part. Okay, so I have finally logged into my OneDrive. We're gonna scroll down a little bit, find ourselves a picture. Let's see. What have I got that's good? Let's go in the Chelsea file. Y'all are going to make fun of me, but I'm a big Chelsea FC fan. So that should definitely go in my portfolio. Right? So I have this picture of Cesc Fabregas, who is one of my favorite players. And I'm going to give it a little title. I'm going to call it, I love Chelsea. Um, because I do. And then I'm going to put a little description here. Chelsea is my favorite football club. I could add some more, but I think that pretty much says it. So I'm going to go add to portfolio. And there you go. There's my picture. Um, so be careful about the quality of your pictures because uh, sometimes they don't turn out looking quite as well on the portfolio as they do when you found them. But there I have added some media to the section. There is one more thing you can do under add media. I will show you what that is. It's called text entry. It's basically a text box. So you just click on that. Go next. They want a title. They want a title for everything you put on here so you give your text box a title i'm gonna call it junior year rules and then i'm gonna say a little something down in the text box like this was my best year ever i did and then i'm gonna you know maybe list some things that i did that were cool it's just a text box you don't have to get too crazy and then i'm gonna hit add to portfolio and this is how it looks when it shows up, right? So that right there is how you make a portfolio in Zello. It's so easy. There's really not a lot to it. 
you can go back to each section and you can choose to edit the section or delete the section. You can pick something that you added there and choose to move it down. You can delete it. Um, likewise, in another section, you could move it up or down. You can edit it somehow. You can delete it. But those are the basic functions of how to make a Zello portfolio. You can also share your portfolio. Normally this will say sharing on and then you'll click share portfolio. I'm turning it on because I want to do that. So I've turned sharing on and now I have a link that's been made for me to my portfolio and I can send that to anyone I want to send it to my advisor whoever and they can come and take a look at my portfolio but that's basically it that is how you make a portfolio in zello now obviously you're going to want to add a lot of your own personality you're going to want to add a ton of pictures and a ton of colors as much as you possibly can it's definitely not the most artistic or aesthetic looking version of a portfolio um you may have seen others that were you know a little easier to make pretty but if you're just looking for something that you can put all your stuff on and it will be right there and it will be super easy to put together zello is definitely for you so i hope that was helpful and uh good luck with your zello portfolios